Welcome to this week's edition of I Connect with Gail. Today's topics, FDA approved ways to fight fat and lift sagging skin. And after that, we head out into the streets to find out what products women think are hot. We compare drugstore beauty brands to high priced department store picks. But first, let's talk technology. Too much time baking in the hot Florida sun? Thanks to breakthrough technology, many are able to literally zap away damage and early signs of aging. But before investing beauty dollars in high-tech treatments, people want to know if they really work. One of the most popular picks from Channel 8 viewers, the MetLite C, known as the workhorse of lasers. And my pores, you could just tell on my cheeks and my nose, it was like all of a sudden they just started getting smaller and smaller and, and I am just in love with my skin right now. And I can say all my life I've never been in love with my skin. In the interest of full disclosure, I became a paying patient of Dr. Mary Beeson in early 2000 after terrible postpartum breakouts of cystic acne. I never thought I'd be able to show my skin on camera with no makeup, but look at it now. It stimulates collagen. So your body starts making its own collagen. Another popular pick, a new FDA approved flab fighting cellulite crunching machine called the Vela Shape. If you've lost your weight and just can't tackle trouble spots at the gym, this machine is showing dramatic results. It's a great way that's non-surgical. There's no downtime associated. It has infrared heat, bipolar radio frequency, suction and manipulation that reduces the circumference of the hips, thighs, whatever area that we're treating, and also helps with the appearance of cellulite. Tampa Simply Smooth's Carol Griebler let me feel the sucking sensation, and it's actually kind of relaxing. I've tracked patients who've seen literally inches of fat melt off. We're getting great results. This doesn't happen overnight. It takes anywhere from four to eight treatments. Now on to the accent, another tool in the war on aging. The machine at Rejuva Metaspa uses three different approaches to tightening skin and smoothing out wrinkles. It applies deep dermal heating to help form new collagen, increases blood circulation, and drains fluids and toxins from the body using radio frequency. And I've actually been waiting for this technology to achieve what it can now achieve for the last five years. Because I literally have a lot of patients out there who, who have few wrinkles, a little bit of loose skin, on the face, other parts of the body, and the only solution we had before was surgery. I saw firsthand while watching patients undergo the procedure that it can be done in an hour's time in a comfortable spa-like environment. I feel uh, a sensation of warmth that's very relaxing and very comfortable, very pleasurable actually. This patient told me after a series of treatments, her skin felt and appeared tighter. The machine also works on other trouble spots, like the back of your legs and the buttocks area. The most remarkable effect that this accent has, the radio frequency has, is that we can literally lift that crease by an inch. And we've actually shown it. I mean, it's an, it's an immediate resolve. These are before and after pictures provided by the company that makes Accent and Tampa's Dr. Bart Rademacher says he's seen firsthand similar changes with his patients. Technology isn't the only way to max out your beauty potential. Multimedia reporter Debbie Marone found out from women on the street about the hottest products. We compare those picks to the high priced ones. Find out if you really have to shell out big bucks to look your best. Hi, we're here in downtown Tampa, and I'm trying to find women ambushing them, trying to find out what beauty steals you can find at the local drugstore. One thing I really am, am proud of, my drugstore shopping, L'Oreal Spring and Curls Mousse. You can't go wrong. Don't go to Bedhead. Don't go get your, you know, expensive products. Women of all ages go to the drugstore, but what product reels in women over 50? Um, I started using Oil of Olay because I saw it on the Today Show a while back, and for the price, they said that that's one of the best products there is that you can find in the drugstore. Some women just don't want to talk on camera, so uh, I had to run after them. Okay, okay. <laughs> I think I'm going to stop the ambush method. This woman's style looks more Chanel than CoverGirl. But looks can be deceiving. I tend to for eyeliner and stuff. Uh, use Walgreens. Does it work just as well? I think it does, yeah. We collected a lot of recommendations. Let's put them to the test. I consulted Walgreens. <laughs> Gail consulted the pros. Back at the station, she's getting tips on how to look flawless on HDTV. Do you like it lifted on the top? 
Come on in. <laughs> so we're going to do the battle of the professional makeup versus store brand. I got a gun. <laughs> this so is a spray gun. You want to see how it works? Yeah. It's time to twist. And the cool thing about it is it doesn't even go on your hair. How does that work? How does it just I, stay in one central location? I don't understand the technology. <laughs> Only the wrist motion. <laughs> so will my drugstore foundation really stand up to Gail's airbrush? Oh, Gail, this is looking, looking pretty good. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I, th I think it glows. I do. I think it's even better almost than the spray on. Really? That is what I use when I'm not at work. Seriously. Dab, dab. The Maybelline Great Lash was a good buy. I liked this. What's that? $4.99. Not bad. L'Oreal lipstick applied smooth, but smells waxy and cheap. Studio or store brand? I can't tell the difference. Want to know what else women recommended? We post it all here. So return the favor and share what drugstore products you think outperform the rest. That's it for this week's iConnect with Gail. We'll have more viewer-driven stories next week.